Catching up with Taylor women's golf head coach Cameron Andrew to look back at the 2018 women's golf season, back-to-back -back Crossroads League championships, and a really, really strong showing at the national tournament that sadly got shortened because of some unfortunate rain. But how special has the spring season been for the ladies? It's been awesome. You know, we, we had some goals to, to win the conference and, and try to go down and compete as best as we could at the national championship. And I think we did that. You know, to finish fifth at the national championship was just a great accomplishment, especially with, you know, the young roster that we had. Um, we, we didn't know exactly how we would handle it, um, you know, for – uh, we had three players in the lineup who this was their first time at the national championship. Even though we made the trip last year, the lineup was pretty different. And so I was really proud of the way we handled it. Um, if, I think if we would have been able to finish that last round, you know, we, we were m like two-thirds of the way through when it got rained out. We probably were going to move up a spot or two on the leaderboard, but still to finish fifth place was, was really special. Such a strong showing in that first round. And you guys went out early, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to sit there and kind of wait for the rest of the field to come through. When you guys saw how, how high you up were on the leaderboard, how much confidence did that give, give the girls heading into the second round? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we just really tried to just play one shot at a time and not really worry about, you know, you, you really can't, you can't play defense. So you just got to play your game and, and try to, to play each shot as it comes. But we were finishing up, and I was walking up the, the last hole with Maddie, um, and she said, Coach, how how we do today? Um, and I said, well, I, I think we're going to end up being, you know, in like maybe like third or fourth place. And she was like, what? And so um, it was awesome. I, I thought we came out and really handled it well. Our preparation was really good. And then they just competed. You know, we weren't perfect. Um, not everybody played as well as they could play, but we we managed to, uh, you know, put it together when we needed to and, and shoot the kind of scores that we needed to to keep us in the hunt. Maddie Thomas, along with Nicole Jung, named All-Americans. Obviously great for them from an individual honor, but what can that do for the program going forward, not only getting the team recognition, but for some individual recognition as well? Well, it really is a testament to the hard work that those two have put in um, and how special they are as players. You know, Maddie, um, last year, she told me that one of her goals was to be an All-American. And, uh, you know, I said, well, that, I think that's a, a very good goal. You're going to have to work really hard. And she did. Uh, she just... You know, she's such a competitor, maybe the best competitor I've ever coached, and she works really hard, and, and Nicole's the same way. Nicole puts in the work. She loves to play, loves to compete. And so to have, I think having both of those together really helped both of them. You know, they had someone to push each other. Um, and so it was special. I, I think it, you know, looking forward, it, it's only good stuff for our program, for individual players to get recognized. That's, that's just a really good thing for our team and hopefully allows us to continue to recruit really good student athletes. In total, you had four players ranked in the top 100 after the season came to a close. What can that do for the team going forward as the fall season will be be upon us before we know it? Well, the coolest thing about that is all four of those players were two freshmen, two sophomores. And so we've got them all back. Um, I think we've got a chance you know, to, to be pretty good again next year. Uh, my challenge to them is, hey, let, let's build on this. Like, Let's not this, let this be the, the highlight. Let's the, let this be the starting point um, of some special stuff that we can do. And so uh, I'm really excited for them. You know, that it really is just a testament to their hard work. Um, and it's exciting when you know you've got those caliber players coming back. Well, another great season for you and the young ladies, Cameron. Good luck with the summer and recruiting. And then we'll talk to you to come when the fall rolls around. Great. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. That's Cameron Andrew, the Taylor Women's Golf head coach. To stay up to date on Taylor Women's Golf, just log on to athletics.taylor.edu.